watch it played. My name is Monique. And I'm Naveen. And today we're going to be playing the two to three player game Disney Villainous, the bigger and badder expansion designed by Prospero Hall and published by Ravensburger, who are helping sponsor this video. Yes, this new expansion comes with three new villains. There's Syndrome from The Incredibles, Lotso from Toy Story, as well as Madame Mim from The Sword in the Stone, which is one of my personal favorite Disney movies. But also remember that any of the expansions can be mixed and matched with previously released Disney expansions as well as the Disney Villainous base game. Mm -hmm. So join us as we try to see who the worst villain of all is, right? Of these two, yes. Now, before we get started, if you're interested in learning how to play the game, Rodney's made a tutorial video for it, which is linked in the description below. And if you're interested in other gameplay videos, just like this one, we make more of them over on our own YouTube channel called Before You Play, which is also linked in the description. Now, if we do make any mistakes, we will use the Klingon subtitles. Hopefully we won't need them. So please activate those at your own leisure. And with that, we are ready to begin. Mm -hmm. So if you please direct your attention to the set of the table, we're all set up here for our two player game of Disney's Villainous, the bigger and badder expansion. Uh -huh. We have some mighty bad, bad villains here, right? Yes. Today, I am playing as the magnificent, <laughs> mad, 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 Madame Mim. <laughs> uh, as you know, as I was saying, Sword in the Stone is and was one of my all time favorite Disney movies. So I am very honored to be playing as Madame Mim today. And you? I am playing as Lotso, the cute strawberry smelling teddy bear <laughs> that is a meanie. Yeah, uh, so secretly. I will be Lotso today. And if you've never played as either of these characters, my objective as Madame Mim is to defeat all of Merlin's transformations. So if you've ever seen the movie, uh, then you may know that there is a duel that mm -hmm. happens between Merlin uh, and Madame Mim, and they both go through multiple transformations, trying to one-up each other in the, the magical world, I yep. suppose. And so as Madame Mim, I have a separate deck that is entirely comprised of Merlin's transformations. There are seven of them in total. I'm going to shuffle this deck, and at the very start of the game, the topmost uh, transformation is going to start here in the dueling ground. Mm -hmm. Now, I also have my own Madame Mim transformations throughout my deck, but my transformations can only um, defeat a specific Merlin transformation. For example, this is Tiger Mim. Tiger Mim can only vanquish a Mouse Merlin. Wow, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to look for my specific transformations right. in order to vanquish Merlins. Um, you may also notice that my board, my realm, does not include a vanquish action, and that is because uh, Madame Mim's transformations actually adds those vanquish actions to the board. Mm -hmm. So it is a combination of me trying to find my, my transformations while combining them to vanquish uh, Merlins. Okay, gotcha. And I will reset this, of course, before we start. But uh, Naveen, would you like to explain Lotso? Sure, Lotso is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have four specific heroes in my deck. So like Ham, I believe Rex is in there. We have Jesse and I believe Woody. And there's only four heroes. And what I need to do is get their strength down from their base value down to zero okay. and have all of them locked in the Caterpillar room. So if you're familiar with Lotso, he wants all the toys to be in the Caterpillar room. <laughs> he wants that's, to punish them. <laughs> that's where they get punished and take the abuse from the toddlers. Yes, yes. And so my goal is to have all of the four heroes down here, as well as Buzz Lightyear, uh, kind of locked into this location. Mm -hmm. And then that is how I win the game. All right. So let's just go ahead and uh, reset, sure. and then we'll get started. Cool. Okay, so we are all set up to play the game. We have our four cards, and now we just have to see who goes first. Ready? Yes. Rock, paper, scissors? Sure. One, two, three. Paper. Okay, well, more power for me. One power for you. <laughs> okay, but I go first. Yes, Naveen goes first. Okay. Um, I have reset. I have Walrus Merlin <laughs> to start my, as my starting transformation, <laughs> and I believe that's it. Naveen, that's it, yeah. take it away, Lotso. Take it away. <laughs> You strawberry bear. Yes, smells like strawberries. Okay, so the first action I'm going to take is I'm going to be forced to move Lotso from the Caterpillar room somewhere else, and we're going to go to the playground. First action I want is I want three power, because power is how you mm -hmm. do things in this game. Right. Okay, next thing I'm going to be able to do is I'm going to play a card, and I'm going to play Welcome to Sunnyside. It's uh -huh. going to cost me two power, so that's why I really needed that. Okay. And basically what it says is reveal cards from the top of your fate deck until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to the Caterpillar room, discard the rest. Nice. Now, so I'm going to do that right now. So let's put that into my discard. Getting so, it started. Yeah, we're just going to look until we get a hero. The claw. Where <laughs> are all you? The, there, okay. Oh, Woody. One of the strongest ones. Yikes. 
Uh, <laughs> when Woody is played, you may move all heroes in the catapult room to another location. If Woody's hat is in uh, Lancel's realm, discard it. Okay. So that's not the case right now. Uh, I will note, though, that because Buzz Lightyear is in guardian mode, yes. neither Buzz Lightyear nor any heroes in this location can be targeted with a vanquish action. And so that's I need, bad for you. That's bad for me okay. because I, vanquish actions are how I get this number, this five number, yep. down in strength because I need to get Woody down from a five to a zero okay. to be considered done. Uh, so I need to find that card that basically gets Buzz Lightyear to its flip side and somewhere else. So this is going to be here, okay. hanging out, and that is that. So these all go into my discard. Yeah. That's... So you took power, you played a card, now you can either fate me, which you don't have to do, you can ignore <laughs> that, and then you can discard cards from your hand if you'd like. Uh, let's fate you. <laughs> let's go ahead and fate So soon. Yes. All right. So let's flip over two cards. Yep. Go ahead and just flip them over. Okay. Yep. So, and these are from my Madame Mim fate cards, not from my Merlin, my Merlin deck. So right. you can choose to either discard one of Madame Mim's transformations from my realm, wow. which is going to be useless, or knowledge and wisdom, move any of Merlin transformations to a new location. So not much to go off of, but this is the only one that'll actually do something. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and just move it right over here onto the two spot so oh. you cannot get power. Nasty. Yes. Yeah, that is fair. Might as well. Yep, so the, these two will get discarded. Yeah, so I am gonna go ahead and discard some cards. So I'm gonna discard these two. Okay. And then now I'm done. I am gonna maintain this one card and draw three more to make it a total of four. All right. So that's me. So now it is my turn. Mm -hmm. And so Walrus Merlin is all the way over here, which is not a big deal, but in order for me to defeat Walrus Merlin, I need to find Elephant Mim. So I may or may not have Elephant Mim in my hand yet. Okay. So I might as well gain some more power. I'm going to move to Madame Mim's Cottage. Sure. And here I'm going to first gain two power. Okay. So now I have three. Okay. Um, I'm going to play a card since I don't have any transformations in the Dueling Ground and this spot really does not cover up any of my actions. I might as well put another transformation there. Yeah. So I'm going to play Wizard's Duel. Okay. It's going to cost me one power. So I uh, draw the top card from the Merlin Transformation deck and play it to the Dueling Ground. This could backfire, you know, if Naveen were to fate me in the future, maybe, mm -hmm. and uh, do something bad with that. Yes. But at least I have uh, two options. Now I have Caterpillar Merlin, who can be vanquished using Chicken Mim. <laughs> <laughs> so um, got my power, played a card. I could move. You, you I could. could move. And actually, I can't move anybody because this symbol stands for moving an item or an ally, which mm -hmm. I have uh, neither of. But the symbol to its right allows me to move a hero. And for all intents and purposes, my uh, Merlin transformations are counted as heroes. Right. So I am going to take this action to move Walrus and... Merlin over so I can have that two power spot okay. again. And that's it. That is the end of my turn. I'm going to draw up back to four cards. And now it's back to you. Very Lotso. good. Very good, Lotso. Where are we going, Lotso? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm going to do this right now. So I'm going to move back over here to the Caterpillar room. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get my one power. That's right there on the bottom right. Yep. Uh, and then now I have two power, and I think I'm not going to play a card, but oh. I am going to discard a bunch of cards because I don't really have the right combination right now. So we're going to go and discard these two cards. Okay. They're going to go out, mm -hmm. and now I'm going to draw back up to four. Ending your turn? Ending my turn. That's it. All right. Real simple, really easy. Yeah, super simple. All right, back to me. Um, I think that it is time to start putting the pressure on these transformations. So I'm going to move to the woods. I just uncovered that spot. Might yeah. as well go there, right? Sure. And I'm going to gain the two power. Yeah. So there's that. Okay. Now I'm going to play a card, which is the bottom left symbol here, and I am going to play Chicken Mim. <laughs> So, cost two. Chicken, yeah, I transformed into this yes. chicken. It's going to cost me two. So, that's the one that power. starts to affect the caterpillar, right? Yes. Chicken uh -huh. Mim can only be used in a vanquish action targeting caterpillar Merlin. So, I'm going to play Chicken Mim to the dueling ground. Mm, okay. um, and this location now gains a vanquish action. So, gotcha. I can get myself over there to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do this uh, action because I don't want to move Chicken Mim. Yeah, that's why you put it there. Multiple yeah. cards. So, I'm going to fate you. Me? Yes. Okay. Uh, draw two. Expose both. We have one way out, and then we have the claw. The claw. Okay, one way out. Move a hero in the caterpillar room to any other location. Kind of like that. Oh, you want Woody well, to go bye bye? Well, right now Woody is kind of safe there because of Buzz. Buzz, Buzz says I cannot mode. vanquish. Yeah, exactly. Choose a hero with zero strength in Lotso's realm. Okay, so this one's not even going to have an effect. Discard that hero, removing all strength tokens. Yeah. So we're going to discard the claw. Okay. And we're going to go with one way out. So are you going to move? Uh, Woody out of the way? Yeah, I'm choosing one way out, and I'm going to move Woody um, right here. 
Okay. At least it covers up a, a strength yeah. spot or a power spot right. and a fate spot. And just, so I know I started the game with this here, so just in case anybody's curious, there is nothing being covered in the Caterpillar room by Buzz Lightyear starting out here. Just right. kind of very similar to yours. Similar to my, my mm -hmm. dueling ground. Yep. I believe that's everything. So I'm just going to draw a card and end my turn. So back to you, Lotso. Back to Lotso. Okay, so I think I'm going back to where I started the game uh, in the playground. So we're going to go here. Okay. Pick up myself a nice little three. One, two, and... Three? Three. Three power, you say? Uh, do you have a card? Well, I have a card that has a condition. It's called as big as a house. So okay. during their turn, which is Naveen's turn, if another player gains two or more power, I can play this card and gain two power. What? So that's nice. <laughs> Thanks, Naveen. Yeah. Um, this that's card lot, gets discarded, though, yeah. and even though I have three cards in my hand, I do not get to draw up until the end of my turn. Right, so. right. But it, right. you used it for what it was for. Right. So, yeah. Well, I apologize for the interruption. Yeah. Please. Thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to fate you. Let's go ahead and do that first. So soon. Yes. Okay. I don't like the fact that you have the chicken and the caterpillar working together here. <laughs> so, oh. Okay, they're both knowledge and wisdom, so you don't really have a choice. Move any Merlin transformation in Madame Mim's realm to a new location. Gotcha. So they're both the same thing, right? Yes. Okay, so the only way for this chicken to combat the caterpillar is them being here? My equal transformation has to be in the same location as the, one the you're Merlin transformation that's going to be defeating. Gotcha. So I definitely want to separate these two. Correct. <laughs> so so I'm going to move your caterpillar transformation. Uh, let's go ahead and just put it right over here again. Where I am. Where you are. Ugh. Awful. Yep. Okay. And I think I have a way to take Woody down from his five to a zero with the amount of power I have. Okay. So I am going to play the Bookworm. Ah. Since this has a variable amount of power that I have to spend to use it, but it says pay any amount of power to play the Bookworm. Reduce a hero's strength by that amount. So I have exactly five. So I really wanted to go here for the three. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to pay all five. Okay. And now Woody is going to get reduced by... By five. By five, so minus three, and where's that minus two? Ooh, there you are. So then now Boom. Woody is at a zero. Woody is now at a zero, correct. Okay. Yes. So you basically just need to get Woody into the Caterpillar room, and now that there's one down, three exactly. more to go. Exactly, yeah. Uh-oh. Yep. I gotta get on these transformations. So that worked out. Okay, so that's that. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all my cards. That's what I have the option to do there. Everything. Everything. And I'm gonna draw up to four. Okay. Are you searching? <laughs> yeah. It feels like searching. All I right. might be searching. Done? Okay, that's me. Okay, so back to me. Um, I am really, really unhappy about the fact that Chicken Mim and Caterpillar Merlin are not in the same in sync. same location anymore. So I'm going to move to Madame Mim's cottage. And uh, first, I'm going to take the two power before right. I forget. So much power. So much power. So little time. And then I'm just going to do these two uh, bottom actions here. One mm. allows me to move a, a an, an ally over to an adjacent location. So I'm moving Chicken Mim over here. The other one allows me to move a hero. So mm. I'm moving Caterpillar Merlin. <laughs> mm. In me moving Chicken Mim to Madame Mim's cottage, I this location just gained the Vanquish action. So now I'm going to take that action to Vanquish Caterpillar Merlin using Chicken Mim. <laughs> That's not good. These are the, uh, the most interesting words that I've said all week probably. <laughs> yeah. But that's it Chicken for them. Mim, Caterpillar Mim. So... Oh, gosh. <laughs> Chicken Mim gets discarded, and I'm going to put my uh, my vanquished Merlin transformations underneath my sure. board. Yeah, that seems good. Now, these are not permanent. There are cards in my Fate deck that potentially allow my opponent to put these back in the, the transformation mm -hmm. deck, but I'm going to put that there. We'll see how this goes. Very, very good. And I believe that's it, because I, I took all three actions down here. I'm going to draw a card and end my turn. All right, I feel like I'm kind of going back and forth in the same exact locations. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going back to the Caterpillar room, going to gain one power. Well, I guess uh, it makes sense. Like, you wouldn't want to go to the landfill, right? <laughs> yeah, not right now, no. Staying in the daycare. Yeah, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and trash two of my four cards. So they're okay. going to go out. And I, unfortunately, am not going to be playing a card, which is ah. the last thing I can do here. So I'm just going to draw up and then continue and on. And your turn. That's it. All right, so it's back to me. And I believe I was supposed to expose a new Merlin transformation yeah, when right. I defeated the last one. Mm -hmm. So it says that every time you defeat one, you immediately expose one to the dueling ground. So here's... Yeah, so you know what you're working for. Right. Crab. Crab, Crab Merlin. Merlin. Okay. okay. So I need to find Rhinoceros Mem as well as Elephant Mem. And I think for the first time... I'm going to go to the Swamp. So the Swamp gives me two play card actions. 
but only one power. Let's take that now. Power, uh, for the first card, I'm going to play a really kind of nice card that I want to copy over and over again. It's I'll Make the Rules. Okay. So it's going to cost me four power. It's very um, expensive. It's very expensive. That's right. So four of these. And I can defeat any Merlin transformation in Madame Mem's realm. That's so, it. Yep. Just wow. auto defeat. Wipe. So I'm going to auto defeat the walrus. <laughs> As cute as the walrus is. Okay. That one's going out. And now I'm going to do this correctly. I'm going to reveal a new transformation to the dueling ground. And this is Mouse Merlin. So I have Mouse Merlin as well as Crab Merlin. I need to find Rhinoceros, Tiger Mim, or Rattlesnake Mim. <laughs> and for my second player card action, I'm going to play this card. This is an effect called I'm Not Cheating. <laughs> Cost me one Feels power. Like it. It's not. I can look at the top two cards of the Merlin Transformation deck and return them in any order of mm. my choosing. I just want to know. I want to know what's coming up because, uh, you know, that's some useful information. How many have you beat total? Two. two. I have two on my board. Two on your board, and then okay, so seven total so, to defeat. Okay. Now the the trick is remembering which one's which, um, and I guess I guess that's it. I'm going to hold on to these cards in my hand. I'm not going to take the discard action, and I'm just going to draw back up to four. So now it goes back to you. Okay, uh, we're going right back to the playground. Definitely okay. want to go there. So I'm going to pick up three power. One, two, three. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play a card. So I'm going to play not age appropriate. It's going to cost me two power. Okay. And it says move any hero in your realm or Buzz Lightyear to the Caterpillar room. So I'm going to move Woody... Lock him in. Nice. With no strength, there he is. So that's one fourth of my uh, my Your win solution, condition. my win condition. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. So that's there. So I did uh, this one. I did this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and fate you. Fate me. Yeah. Hopefully we can uh, get one of these uh, transformations back in the game. No. <laughs> I don't like being where I'm at. Okay. Ooh. Merlin or Bird Arthur. So Merlin says you can randomly choose one card from, it's exactly what you said, oh, from okay. my discard pile and put it back into the regular. And time. shuffle it so that knowledge that you have would be gone. Correct. Okay. Or Bird Arthur, which is quite nice, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Madame M discards her hand and draws two cards. Oh, they're both really nasty. <laughs> uh, ooh, I, ooh. Yeah. You, you chose not to, uh, to discard cards, huh? Correct. Yes, I chose not to discard. I chose not to take the discard cards. Actually, interesting. You know what? I think I'm gonna do the Merlin. I think I will okay. do the Merlin. So not Bird Arthur. I won't. Right. No. So you randomly choose one. Okay. I will say it is fifty-fifty. Yes. So I will most likely, if I can remember which ones I vanquished, I will most likely know which ones going back yeah, in. This one. Okay. So that gets yeah. If you want to shuffle that. Okay. And so not cater caterpillar Merlin. Oh, so the chicken. Ah. Man. Chicken men. What was? It was Walrus! Walrus Merlin is back back in there. Back in biz. Okay, so that's there. Okay. And so I okay, I took the three power, I faded you, I played a card, and now I'm gonna go ahead and discard. I definitely will be discarding uh, two cards. So okay. they're gonna go out, and now I'm gonna draw up to my hand limit of four. One, two, three. Come on, I need to find something. I need to find something. <sighs> Not looking good, Madam Mim. Let's find something. Well, I might as well go back to the woods okay. and uh, fake you, Naveen. <laughs> Wait, so I'm gonna go here You're and get my fake me first. Oh, my, okay. I'm gonna get my two power. Okay. I like to take the power first. Power just in first case. is always the easiest. To yeah, do. just yeah. in case I forget. And then I might as well play a card now. I'm gonna play. I'm not cheating. So I'm not oh, that one these. again. Oh, nice. Yeah, so it's nice. the one power. And this is the one that lets me look at the top two yeah. here. Now that Naveen did some funny business. I did. And I can return them in the order of my choosing. Ooh. So, oh. <laughs> what do I, do I have anything? Oh, I might not have anything. Okay. Are you lying? Or are you I'm going to put that in that order. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to take this action, but I will fate you. So please. All two right, cards. so we have two cards. Come on, what do we got here? Oh, we have Jesse, which is a hero. Okay. And then we have Andy's looking for us. So you want to read Jesse first? When Jesse is played, you may discard any ally from Lotso's Realm. You don't have any right now. Mm -hmm. Andy's looking for us. All heroes with one or more strength get plus two strength. Heroes with zero strength are not affected. Oh. Okay, that makes it easy. I'm yeah. going to go for Andy's looking for us. So it actually doesn't do anything, no. but it also does not put Jesse yeah. in play. And again, it doesn't do anything because Woody is the only hero out there. He's at a strength of zero. And so because it's a strength of zero, they're not affected. Yes. And the reason why you discarded this one is because you don't want me to have access to yeah. it. Yeah, it's part uh, of your win condition. It's part of my win condition. Can't let you have that. Tucked away. So that's the end of my turn. I'm going to draw my one card and be done. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All right, back to you. 
back to me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the library for the first time. Uh, I'm gonna pick up two. Okay. Uh, and then let's go ahead and let's go ahead and play my first card. It's gonna be my first ally. Good thing Jesse's gone because this would have <laughs> got rid of this. Oh, okay. And it says uh, move a hero or guardian in Stretch's location to a location in Lotso's realm. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this person right here. Okay. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move this guardian out. By, oh, sorry, Woody. I'm gonna go ahead and move the guardian. Uh, let's go ahead and put him. Yes, I'll just put him here. Okay. <laughs> tough decision. Yeah, it's a tough decision. Did so. you pay for I stretch? Aha. Uh -huh. so we work together, now, Monique. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, okay, I gained the two. I played a card and paid the two. Mm -hmm. And then now uh, I am gonna go ahead and fate you. Fake me? Yes. Wow, that was a sneaky little symbol back there. Two. All right, well, these are the last two. We've okay. seen them all. Archimedes, let's you draw a Merlin transformation and play it to the same location as another one, which is just going to be here. Okay. Shuffle the previously played Merlin transformation in that location oh. back into Merlin's deck. So for this card, uh, because there are two transformations here, you get to choose which one to put mm, back. I have no idea. <laughs> or Knowledge and Wisdom, which just lets you move any of these to a new location in my realm. Okay, I'm just going to move. I'm going to do the... Knowledge and Wisdom? Yes. Let's go ahead okay. and just move. Where are you going to move? Let's just move the mouse here. Uh, here. Why not? Because okay. I don't like the fact that you were playing a bunch of cards. <laughs> <laughs> so let's do that. All right, and that's going to end my turn. I am going to wrap there. So I draw one more. Come on. Okay. Anything good? I don't know. I'm going to move back to the swamp. Okay. So I'm going to go I'm here. Yeah. going to take my one power. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to play a card. And I'm going to play Tiger Mim. So Tiger Mim is going to be used in Vanquishing Mouse Merlin. Ah, oh, shoot. So it cost me the one power. Dang it. I'm going to play Tiger Mim to the swamp and now activate it or use its vanquish action to vanquish Mouse Merlin. <laughs> so I should have done the thing where... Uh, so, I mean, that was a tough decision. That was tough. But now Mouse Merlin is is, is out, out well, of my for realm. For now. Maybe for I now. can get another it, it also opens up another uh, play card action. So, uh, so be that... because you just did this, do yes. you want to uh, yes. go ahead and expose? Yes, I'm going to add another uh, transformation right here to the Dueling Ground. It is Turtle Merlin. <laughs> And like I was saying, I do have another play a card action that I could take. So I'm going to play another card, and it's going to be Crocodile Mim. <laughs> so Crocodile Mim <laughs> is specifically for Turtle Merlin, so it's two power. Okay. And I'm going to play Crocodile Mim to that location. So those are the two play a card actions. I took a power for that. I can discard cards from my hand. I think I'm going to leave it at that and end my turn. So I'm going to draw my two cards, and that's it. It is back to you. Okay, so you did not discard cards, is what you're saying? I did not. I did not discard cards, and I currently have Turtle Merlin and Crab Merlin in my realm. Okay. So, back to you. Oh, boy. All right. I need to find some heroes to mess with, <laughs> and it's not happening. So, I'm going to move back to the playground. I'm going to okay. collect myself three power. Yep. All right. Uh, I'm going to fate you. Let's just go ahead and do it, me? right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, I have to shuffle, shuffle this yeah. because my fate deck is on the smaller side. It's a lot of same stuff. Huh? We we depleted it. We have. So all right, it's fully shuffled. Right. So here are Let's your two options. Two. What do we got? You have knowledge and wisdom, and knowledge and wisdom. Oh. <laughs> Move any of my and of Merlin's transformation to a new location. Cool. Yeah. Let's go ahead so, and move uh, the one that the, this crocodile. Yeah, can that's do. turtle Merlin. Turtle? All right. Let's go ahead and just move them over here. All right. Yep. So that was the fate action. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play a card, and I'm going to go ahead and play this one, which is going to cost me two power. Okay. And it is original factory setting. So this is how I get Buzz Lightyear flipped. So flip Buzz Lightyear to <laughs> demo mode Buzz Lightyear, ah. and move him to any location at the bottom of Lotso's realm. All heroes lose one strength. Now, I don't have any heroes in play. Okay. Because Monique was not kind enough to put Jesse <laughs> in play. But I need to get Buzz Lightyear out of my out of my uh, sights right now. I don't want him blocking anymore. So that goes out. We are going to flip over. And now it's going to be in the Caterpillar room as well. So now he's in demo mode. So he yes. can say all the cool Buzz Lightyear sayings, <laughs> That's right? right. Yeah, so, um, so in demo mode, this is the first time seeing it. Uh, demo mode, mode Buzz Lightyear can be used in a vanquish action with at least one other ally. So you combine its strength with uh, one other ally. And unlike other allies that get discarded, uh, Buzz Lightyear does not get discarded, which is really, really nice. Okay. So uh, that's that. So I'm going to keep this one here in the Caterpillar room. So I'll just put that one on top. <laughs> that Caterpillar room. I know. For all the toddlers. Yeah. Rule. So I, yeah, I took my power. I faded you. I played a card. Uh, let's go ahead and discard 
two cards. We're just going to keep discarding until we find something. You're going to get to the end of your deck. I think they're all at the bottom, what I'm looking for. That's really impressive. I know. All right, back to me. Yep. I'm going to go back to Madame M's cottage. Okay. I am really happy that you didn't move Turtle Merlin all the way over here because oh. that wouldn't have been ideal. So first I'm going to get the two power. Did I do the thing that I did last time that I totally failed on? Yeah, it's because Madame M's Cottage has these two actions. I, I'm, yeah, that's One that moves a hero adjacent and the yeah. other one moves an ally adjacent. I made the mistake so... the first time and I totally didn't even recognize it <laughs> this time. I just did it again. Okay, well, I'm going to go here and take these two actions to basically move them over. Yeah, what a, what a mistake. And then I'm going to vanquish Turtle Merlin. And you know what? Honestly, I just realized that now. Starting my turn. Yeah. It sounds I, like when you did it the first this. time, I was like, oh, I should have known that. And then you, I just totally did it again. Yeah. Well, oh. I still have plenty more transformations to go, but I will vanquish Turtle Merlin using Crocodile Mim. So, so how many are totally vanquished now? I have three. Three vanquished. Three so you're, vanquished. You're almost halfway there. Almost halfway. Yes. So that's Turtle Merlin. And then we're going to add, before we forget, we're going to add another transformation um, to the dueling ground. We have Goat Merlin. So I have to vanquish Goat Merlin using Purple Dragon Mim. That's it for these three actions. I can also play a card. Are you hmm. going to play Purple Dragon Mim by any chance? <laughs> no. Okay. I'm going to play Wizard's Duel. So this is the one, the similar card that I played earlier. I, it cost me one power. And this is going to allow me to draw the top card from the transformation deck and play it to the dueling ground. So now I have three transformations in play. Wow. And this is Rabbit Merlin. I need to find a Fox Mim. I'm going to end my turn, draw up a card. Back to you. Okay, we're going to go back to the library. I'm going to go ahead and gain myself two power. Okay. And then I am going to play a card. I'm going to play this one, Welcome to Sunnyside. It's going to cost <laughs> me the two power I just gained. So deceivingly cute, <laughs> yeah. right? And friendly. Reveal cards from the top of your fate deck until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to the Caterpillar room and discard the rest. Oh, so now I can get another, nice. another goodie, aka baddie, for me. You needed that. Uh, yes, a hero. Okay, Ham, here we go. <laughs> so Ham is interesting. Ham is going to go into the Caterpillar room and says, when performing a Vanquish action to defeat Ham, at least two allies must be used. So this Ooh. is why you want Stretch and Demo Buzz Lightyear. Remember, yeah. whenever you Vanquish, uh, Demo Buzz Lightyear acts as that second one. So it's right, perfect right. For, the, for a kind of situation like this. So Ham has a strength of two. They're going to hang out in the Caterpillar room just like that. Let's go ahead and fate you. Fate me? I want to put one of these back Already? in there. That would be most ideal. Didn't you just fate me? <laughs> I did, yes. I have to constantly fate you, I think. Here we go. Oh. You can do Knowledge and Wisdom again, which is just moving them. Don't want to do that. Or Merlin, randomly choose one card from here and put it back in there. Doing it. You sure? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yes. Please. Random. Uh, it's random. Turtle, so. mouse, caterpillar. <laughs> Turtle, Mouse, Caterpillar, but Which, all three of those cards you used to vanquish are now in your discard pile, meaning you need to get them back, right? You reminded me. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yes. So this one's going to go in, well, and I guess... it's 50-50 in there. Yeah, that's right. So, and you can look at your discard piles at any time, according that's to right. the rules. According to the rules, I yeah. don't think this is an exception. Uh, Caterpillar, yeah, caterpillar and mouse. And mouse. I do, I do I, that, that means turtle then, right? Yeah, oh, thank you. I actually was trying to remember. Uh, I was yeah, like, what was yeah. the third? For everyone. Okay, turtle Merlin. Turtle, turtle Merlin. Merlin is back in there. So that's going to be uh, me, and then I'm just going to draw up two, four. All right, so now it's back to me. I do not like that I just lost all my work. All my work. That did not happen in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'm going to go to the dueling ground. Okay. This will at least allow me to discard some cards because I think I've come to a point where I need to I need to flush some stuff out of my hand. Sure. So first things first, I'm gonna gain my one power. I am going to fate you, Nadine. Oh, okay. Now? Yeah, it's been a while. Now? Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> We're getting comfortable. Uh yeah. Fateless comfort. Okay, we have Bonnie's toys and one way out. So. Okay. So choose a hero with reduced strength and remove all strength reduction tokens from that hero. Wow. Or move a hero in the caterpillar room to any other location. Hmm, they're both good. So I could use Bonnie's toys to just completely clear off the tokens on Woody, right? I think so, yeah. I think even, yeah, zero is not safe. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm choosing Bonnie's toys. Can you go ahead and remove uh, <laughs> remove those strength tokens, please? Yeah, okay. So, wow. Uh, wow. So... <laughs> Well, there's that. <laughs> Woody, Woody is uh, back to five. Back in action. All right. High five, Woody. Oh, boy. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to discard some cards. I'm discarding two of them, and I'm going to end my turn. So I'm going to draw back up to four, and it is back to you, Naveen. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going back to the playground. We're okay. going to go ahead and take three. Uh-huh. One, two, three. 
And then we are going to bait you. Let's go ahead and bait you. Bait me now? Yeah. Hopefully okay. we can just do some bad things to you. Here we go. What do we got? Bird, Arthur, and Knowledge and Wisdom. So I can discard my hand and draw two cards, or you're, you can move. Discard your hand and draw two cards. I don't know if I want you to find the things you're looking for. Well, it's discard your hand only, so you only have two cards. I will have. I will only have two cards starting my next turn. Let's do it. Bird Arthur. Bird Arthur. Oh, discard your hand. Hopefully, you found what you were looking for. Gosh. <laughs> I don't know if you want to see them. Yeah, I'd like These to see. These were the four what it was, that yeah. I had. Elephant. What, so what did you? It's need? just this one. That's the only one that you probably care about. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because this one lets you me vanquish Walrus Merlin, which Who's is one there? that's in my deck. Nice, so nice, nice. it's fine. There's still other cards. Uh, you do that, get to draw two. That I can use in the future. Maybe I'll draw the perfect two. Maybe I'll draw Fox Mim or Purple Dragon Mim. There's so many different Mims that I still need. Yep. So okay. All right, and I am going to use my last action here. I'm not going to play a card. Okay. I'm going to use my last action to ditch all four. Oh. We are grinding to find anything of use here that I can do. So, all right, that's me. Okay, so back to me. Um, I need to defeat these transformations fast because they keep going back into my deck. I'm going to go to the woods just so at least I can uh, fate Naveen. Okay. I'm taking two power. And I'm going to play a card first, and okay. it's going to be I'll Make the Rules. Right. So this Ooh. is the one that was very expensive, but it allows me to just defeat oh, any of the transformations. Yeah. So it costs me four power. And I can defeat any uh, of these transformations here. Well, so the walrus one, probably, right? Well, the walrus one isn't out, is the problem. Oh, it's not out. No. I'm just going to go with Goat Merlin. Sure. Because uh, Goat Merlin is, is quite strong. I, it requires Purple Dragon Mim. I don't know. I'm just going <laughs> to defeat Goat Merlin. So how many are totally defeated? Three? Three. Okay. And I'm going to add one of these to the dueling ground. Walrus Merlin. Speak of the <laughs> walrus. <laughs> there we are. So casual. I know. Uh, okay. And fate. then I'm going to fate you, please. Fate me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. What if I draw two, two heroes? Two heroes would be good, yeah. Daisy's Locket or Spanish Mode? Okay, Daisy's Locket requires you to, to discard Big Baby. I don't Shuffle Lotso's fate discard pile into his fate deck. That's that's good for you, actually. Mm -hmm. Flip Buzz Lightyear to his guardian side and move him to the top of Lotso's realm at the playground. Let's do that. It also okay. says if Jesse is in Lotso's realm, she gains one strength, but Jesse is okay. not there so we are flipping over yep and then on top of the playground it said specifically yeah okay so we're gonna put that one there yeah the rest of the card does not apply mm. all right that is it that's the end of my turn i'm gonna draw back up to three it's gonna be nice having four cards again <laughs> yeah starting my turn with two cards did not feel good okay we're gonna go to the tri-county landfill and i think I'm going to play a card. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this one, the original factory setting, which is okay. the way I get Buzz Lightyear back to the way he just was. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to spend two and it says flip Buzz Lightyear to the demo mode Buzz Lightyear and move him to any location at the bottom of Lotso's realm. I'm going to go ahead and put him right back here. Uh, all heroes lose one strength. So, so that was one. useful. Minus one, yeah. Even Or it was useful last time, but it's even more useful even now. Even more so now, yeah. So now Woody needs four and then uh, Ham just needs one. Okay. So that's Very good. That. Okay, so that is going to go here. So that was one of those. The next one I'm going to do is... I, now, I can vanquish him right now because I have the vanquish and I do have that. So I think I I think I think will. Yeah? I think I'm going to vanquish. So uh, I'm going to be using... Ham, unfortunately, requires two uh, allies. So I have these two allies, which is Demo, Buzz Lightyear, and Stretch. Oh, okay. So I'm going to kind of overpay here. Now, Demo, Buzz Lightyear does not go away, but Stretch will go away. Okay. So Ham is now vanquished, so he is now down to... Uh, to zero. To zero, AKA Because anytime two. you vanquish your um, your heroes, they just get they just moved all the way down to zero strength. To zero strength, yes. Okay. okay. So now Ham is one-fourth of the way uh, up to my victory condition. Okay. And they don't automatically go into the caterpillar room if they were not there, mm -hmm. or they do. No, they don't. You they still do have not. to move okay. them. Okay. Yeah. But fortunately for you, Ham was already there. Right. Okay. So sorry, actually, just to clarify that, if you do use Demo Buzz Lightyear, then they would be moved to the caterpillar. Oh, room. okay. And because you did a vanquish action, mm -hmm. I can play a sporting chance. <laughs> So uh, during their turn, which is Naveen's, if another player performs a vanquish action, I can play this card to choose any card from my discard pile Ooh. and put it into my hand. Ha ha! So that's solid. I'm gonna just. Uh, You're look looking for that elephant one, right? Elephant Mim, maybe. <laughs> All right, I've placed a card into my hand. Sorry, you can continue your turn. <laughs> Okay, the second card I'm going to play is Welcome to Sunnyside. It's that same one where I get to look until I find a hero. A hero? Yeah, so okay. I'm going to spend two. 
and let's go ahead and find myself a hero. So here's one, two, Rex, okay. So this one's gonna get discarded. Um, play that hero to the caterpillar room, okay? So Rex is gonna go to the caterpillar room and says, when performing a vanquish action, Rex cannot be targeted if there are other heroes in his location, which Ooh. is gonna be the, the case here. So for Rex, if I'm using the vanquish action, I cannot do it in the caterpillar room because that's where two of the other heroes are located right now. So I'm gonna have to use cards in order to get Rex down to a zero. Mm -hmm. Rex only has a strength of one, so uh, hopefully I can do this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so walk in the park. I, Rex yeah, is ideally, just too nice. Rex is pretty <laughs> nice. I'm just gonna kind of tuck it like this though, so it's all you know visible. Sure. And so now I'm just gonna draw up to my hand size. Okay, and you're ending your turn? That's it. All right, so then I'm gonna go to Madame M's Cottage, taking my two power. I am going to play the card that I just took, mm. and it is Elephant Mim, I found her. Found <laughs> so it cost me two power, and I'm gonna play Elephant Mim to Madame M's Cottage. Okay. I'm gonna take this action that allows me to move a hero to an adjacent location, so I'm moving Walrus Merlin, and then I'm going to vanquish Walrus Merlin using Elephant Mim. Nice. So there's that. Finally, Walrus Merlin. How many times have we had to, to vanquish Walrus nice. Merlin? How many do you have total now? Five? I have one, two, three, four. Four. So there, there are three left. Okay. Um, now that I've vanquished the Walrus, this one goes here. Of course, it's a Turtle Merlin. The last Turtle one. Merlin is back. So I'm going to end my turn by drawing up a card. Okay. And now it's back to you. Back to me. Okay, I need to gain power. I need to... Get some cards into my hands. I'm not liking these ones right now. At so. least you have three out of your four heroes out. They're there. Right. It's just like I need to find ways to now chip away at them. Uh, taking away Woody's five that I had earlier was pretty bad. So <laughs> uh, we're going to go to the playground. Okay. Uh, we're going to gain myself three of these. Power. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, let's just go ahead and fate you now. Might as well. Fate me now. Let's just do it. Here we go. Last two. Archimedes. Okay. Uh, and or germ <laughs> germ Merlin. This is just discard one of Madame Mim's transformations from Madame Mim's realm, and this is not going to have an effect. Okay. Because she doesn't have any transformations. So Archimedes lets you draw a Merlin transformation and play it. Not, neither of these are going to have an effect because there are no more Merlin oh, transformations interesting. Okay. in the draw pile. Interesting. So okay. I kind of lucked out there. Huh. And we are taking Archimedes, uh, by the way, to mean that we don't necessarily just put one back because for effect cards, it says if you cannot take the effect of the card, then you right. cannot play it. Because yeah, right? I can't do the first half of the card, right. so therefore I'm not allowed to do the second half. Is That's how we're, we're, we're taking it, it yeah. right? Unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play a card. So I am going to play Chunk. Chunk is an ally, and it only costs one power. Okay. Uh, if um, Chunk gets plus one strength, if Sparks, which is another type of ally, is also in the realm, that's not happening right now. Okay. But I'm going to go ahead and put Chunk over into the Caterpillar room as well. All right. Nice. So uh, the last thing I'm going to do is discard my three cards and draw up two, four. So one, and now I finally get to shuffle, and hopefully I can You've get You've gone through stuff. your entire deck. I have. Let's just say it was front-loaded with the things I need now that I had early in the game. So hopefully so you get So now I get them now <laughs> so that I can then use them. All right, and I go two, three, four. So that is now my hand. All yeah. right, good luck. Thanks. Hope you found what you're, you're potentially looking for. So back to me. So I have turtle, rabbit, and crab, Merlin. Oh, okay. So these are not... None of the Merlins that <laughs> I could potentially defeat. So I'm going to go to the woods, okay. get my two power, and then I'm going to play um, Battle of Wits. So it's going to cost me two power, but this allows me to draw four cards from Ooh. my deck, and then I must discard four cards from my hand. Wow. So this is a nice way for me to look Just for, find what you're looking for. Potential, <laughs> potential transformations. Right? And these are the four cards that I'm discarding. Okay. I had to discard a Rattlesnake Mim because um, Mouse Merlin is already gone. Okay. So, so there's I need that. Mouse Merlin to be something I can toss back out there. Okay. Uh, Mouse Merlin. So I took my power, played my card, now I'm going to fate you. Okay, so you're so, going to fate me, so I have to shuffle this. Yeah, you this shuffle is not this. good. You're going you're gonna to do something bad to me, aren't you? I'm going to try. I mean, yeah. that's the point of fading. That's true. <laughs> Ready? Yep. One and two. Oh no! I see the claw. The Bonnie's claw. toys is the one that you did earlier. I guess it's not too bad this time. So I can either remove all the strength reduction tokens from a hero, or I can just straight up discard a hero. The claw is definitely the way you're gonna go with this one, right? So this would just take Ham to zero, to back to full strength. This would actually take Ham to full strength and out of circulation altogether. Yeah, I do feel guilty, but I know that strategically <laughs> I have no choice. Go, the claw is the yeah. way to go. Oh, Sorry, Naveen. Oh, 
the claw. <laughs> the claw just just yanked Ham safely out. So Ham is now in the discard pile, unfortunately. Wow. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. Well, that was quite the fate action. Uh, and with that, I'm just going, I'm going to end my turn and drop a card. So now it's back to you. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and move over to the Caterpillar room. Okay. And I'm going to pick up one power. Yep. Uh, I am going to go ahead and play a card, and I'm going to play Big Baby. It's it's my best ally. Hey! It costs three. It's, it's funny. <laughs> Big <laughs> it's funny. Baby makes an appearance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it says, reveal cards from the top of your fate deck until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to any location except the Caterpillar Room, so they're not going to be going to the Caterpillar Room. Uh, so let's go ahead and put Big Baby. Let's just put Big Baby here. Why not? Okay. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and find... Well, no, I don't think you get to do it now. I think this is a. Oh, so that's it's right. It's an activation. Yes, that's right. That's right. Action. So you can you take an activation correct. to do it. That is correct. So I, I think I'm gonna move it actually to this location. I want to say. Okay. So yes. when you play the card, you're playing it there instead. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and discard uh, three cards so I can draw up to four. Okay. And that ends your turn. That ends it. All right. Well, I'm moving to Madame M's cottage. I am taking my two power. Okay. And then I'm going to play, I believe, I think, I think I've, yes, Rabbit Merlin is right there. So I'm going to play a card and it's going to be Fox Mim, finally found her. Mm. So it's going to cost me two power. I'm playing Fox Mim to Madame Mim's Cottage. And then I'm going to take this action to move uh, Rabbit Merlin over to an adjacent location. Okay. And then Vanquish using Fox Mim. Fox Mim and Rabbit Merlin. Wow. So there's that, and this goes this goes to the discard, and I believe that's it. I took my power, played my card, move, and I don't have anybody else to move. So that's it. I have two more transformations left. It's Turtle Merlin and Crab Merlin. So I gotta find Crocodile Mim and Rhinoceros Mim. I think they are both in the discard. So that's good. <laughs> All right, then back to you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the playground. Let's go ahead and pick up some power. One, two, and three. Okay. One, two, three. And I'm going to play as big as a house. Oh, shoot. Okay. Because you played, you gain two or more power. Gain I can two. gain yeah, two power you had as those. well. <laughs> it's been At a while. At the time when you don't have much power, that's, that's yeah, great nice. for you. So the card I'm going to play is going to be Welcome to Sunnyside. It's that one where which lets me uh, find uh, heroes. So I'm going to pay two. Okay. Uh, I think it's going to be Jesse, right? Because Ham is here in the discard. So right. we just have to basically draw till we find Jesse. There you are. Okay. Oh, hi. So these go into the discard, and now Jesse's in play. Uh, the text uh, here, it says, when Jesse is in play, you may discard an ally from Lotso's Realm. This only applies if you were to fate me and right. then get Jesse in. Yeah, you wouldn't hurt yourself. That's right, yeah. <laughs> play that card to the Caterpillar Room. So this one is going to now be here. Nice. So we have somebody there. Very good. Uh, and then now I'm, I'm going to have to fate you. I, I, here we are. So, <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. Do not... Please don't put my transformation back. I am so close. All right, we are fully shuffled, and here are your options. Archimedes. Okay, so we know which, I can't use that one. Yeah, we've deemed ineffective. So I'll take this one, whatever it is. Knowledge and wisdom. So this is the one that I have in the most abundance. So you can move either of these. Yeah, I'm going to move it to the right, because I'm not going to make that. Uh, let's just go ahead and move that one to the right. Turtle? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to make that mistake <laughs> of moving it over, and then you do the, the double swap. Yeah. Never uh, again. Good. Okay. Good, good. Good move there. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I took that, the three, I faded you, yep. I played a card, and now I'm going to go ahead and discard. I'll go ahead and discard one card, and okay. then I'm going to draw up two, four. So how many is that? Two uh, more cards? Two more cards, yep. All right. We are nearing the end. Um, I can feel it. I can feel it inching there, You right? taking away that from Woody <laughs> was rough, man. I'm so sorry. Uh, that was rough. All right. Well, back to me. I'm going to go to the woods, take my two power. And I'm going to play a card. So I'm playing um, arguably the strongest card in my deck, which I happen to find. I'll make the rules. So it's four oh, power. Just pay to just be done with Yeah, it pay to, I'm just going to pay to um, defeat this transformation because it's so far away that I might as well do it. Mm. So Turtle Merlin goes out and this card goes, gets discarded. So that's this action. Um, I'm going to fate you for the last thing I'm going to do. And I only have one transformation left. Okay. So let's see what we have. Okay. So you have all of your heroes. Oh no, Ham is in your discard. Yes. So Spanish mode or one way out. Move a hero in the caterpillar room to any other location. Okay. Let's just do that. I'm just gonna do the one way out. Okay. These fate cards have been pretty 
Brutal. Mean? So let's just move one of those out. Who do you want to move? You probably want to keep Rex there because I can't use Vanquish on right. Rex there. Because Rex is... Uh... Protected by the other toys. Yes, so... that's right. So you want, to, you want to keep Rex where the other toys are. Correct. So let's just move Jesse. Okay, where would you like Jesse? Um, here. Let's cover up that bait. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. All right. A little bit of protection there. So that's it. That's it for me. So I'm going to draw up two cards and end my turn. Back to you. Okay, I'm just going to move over to the Caterpillar room. I'm going to gain one power. I am going to then play one card, which is the Bookworm. This is pay the amount of power to uh, <laughs> reduce a hero's strength by that amount. Let's go ahead and pay four power to get Woody down to his five. Uh, so that's that's nice. That's nice. So now so, Woody's down to zero. Woody is down to zero. So Woody's underneath here, yes. like I did rounds ago. Yeah. Uh, so that's that. <laughs> I was like, turn one, yeah. two. So I'm going to go ahead and discard one card, drawing up now to four. All right. Looking for something. Done? That's it. All right. I think this might be it. Oh, no. This might be the end. Here we go. Madame Mim is moving back to Madame Mim's cottage. Uh -oh. She's going home, and uh, I get two power. Game two. So let's do that. I'm going to play a card. Finally, we found Rhinoceros Mim. It took getting to the bottom of the deck here, so I have to pay two power to play rhinoceros mem okay i'm gonna play it to madame M's cottage i'm going to take this action which lets me move the hero crab merlin <laughs> over to an adjacent location and then i'm going to take that final vanquish action given to me by rhinoceros mem to defeat crab merlin so that's it i don't know how a rhinoceros uh, specifically defeats crabs <laughs> crushed it or but something like that she did and so that's it for merlin merlin is no more and that is the end. To make it look more respectable, though, okay. where's your kid now? Oh. <laughs> During their turn, if another player defeats a hero with the strength of two or more, which uh -huh. Crab Merlin is, that's right. You may play this card and choose a hero that's in Lotso's location. They go down to strength zero. So ah. I was halfway to victory. Yeah, that's you right. were halfway to victory. That's right. <laughs> Boom. That is the end of the game. Madame, Madame Mim, mad, the marvelous. <laughs> Unfortunately, for Merlin, and of course, Lotso, that is the end. That is the end of us. Good job. Well <laughs> nice. Well, thank you all so much for watching our video today. We really hope you enjoyed our playthrough. Now, we do have plans to be back in the future for more playthroughs, but in the meantime, if you want to check out more videos like this, there's always a playlist on the channel, as well as a link to our channel, which is in the description down below. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please go ahead and like and subscribe here as well. And if you're interested in solo gaming, Paula has a series called Table for One, which is on this channel as well. Mm -hmm. And until next time, Thanks for watching.